Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today's Windows tutorial is going to cover how to delete an account off of Outlook. When you have an email address that's already in Outlook and you're wanting to remove it, I actually noticed it does have some strange behavior if you don't know how to remove everything correctly. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to delete this the way you would expect to be able to. I'm going to go to File and Account Settings and click on the one email account I have in here and just hit remove and it gives you a warning that everything will be deleted uh, and that once I continue it looks like it's gone and there's still some data files you know I think I'll delete those too and it won't let me remove those now you'll notice the email went away, but this Outlook data file still remains. So if I close it and I try to go to this Outlook data file and, you know, click on actually, if I open the file location, it's still there. And I'll also see my email. So just some weird behavior. So, you know, you try to delete both of those. And if it won't let you, I'll close it out and delete both of those. So it looks like it would be good to have a fresh start with Outlook, right? Well, if you try to start Outlook now, you'll get this kind of error where it can't find that a data file that was previously created, the one that you didn't need anymore, the one that you wouldn't need at all. So it'll go ahead and try to look for it. And it won't let you do anything unless you can locate that, no matter how many times you try. So instead of restoring that and having old data on here, I came across what you're actually supposed to do in this case. And it's going down to your start button and typing in control panel. Once you get to your control panel, make sure you're viewing it by category and click on user accounts. Now, if you'll notice, Outlook has created something under the user account here. So let's go ahead and click on that and we'll have a couple settings that pop up. Now, if I wanna get rid of everything, to where it'll let me create a new profile or whatever I need to do, a new email address. I can hit show profiles and it still sees that there's a profile on this computer, even though we deleted everything. So we'll click on that profile and we'll hit remove. It'll give you a prompt that's going to delete everything. And once that's done, just hit okay. And now when we reopen Outlook, It'll let you create a new profile, or you can cancel. But uh, either way, when you're starting off fresh, like if I wanted to recreate a new or make a new one, type in a new profile name, hit OK, and that'll bring you to this screen right here. That'll let you go ahead and put in all your info to add your new email. So guys, if you're having any trouble getting rid of an email and you're just wanting to start fresh in Outlook, that's some of the things you can go through to delete all the data and start with a new profile, new email, and it will let you open it. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. If the video helped, uh, give me a like or a subscribe. And as always, chive on.